the fuck is up, my britches? If you're new here, hello. My name is Brittany. I hope you guys came prepared tonight. Yes, bitch. Do you guys like the little, the little banner sign? I think it's pretty fun. Gives you guys a little bit of time to come in here. I'm gonna start doing that. I'll probably let it sit for like a couple minutes, maybe two minutes. And then if you're watching the playback, I'll leave like a skip two so you could just jump right into the video. So you're not watching like when you're watching the playback, you know, I just figure it's easy that way. Gives people the time to come in, you know, and then fingers crossed that this goes well tonight because I'm trying to up my game with this shit and we're going to be talking about some makeup releases tonight. We're going to talk about makeup, um, some skincare stuff. I got a lot of stuff to go through. We're going to be referring to Trend Mood One, Hot Fire Makeup and Beauty Deals BFF. Um, oh shit, I forgot to put Hot Fire Makeup on my banner, but hello my britches. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I'm living for this look, girl. Girl, I'm just saying I should have a video up tomorrow on some of the stuff that's on my face. I'm going to leave everything, almost everything that's on my face down below after the fact. And then if you want to know what's on my face, watch tomorrow's video. <laughs> uh, no drinking tonight, feeling icky. Well, Sherry, I hope you feel better. And I hope everybody's doing well. Sarah Smiles loves makeup, girl. I tried DMing you on Instagram. You won the Lotus Trolley Bag giveaway, girl. So you got to DM me on Instagram. Julie, awesome. I actually made one. <laughs> this is, I believe, my first time here. Well, Julie, welcome. You hope you got your wine ready. <sighs> We're going to jump right into it and hope I don't fuck this up. Yes, Sarah, you won the giveaway. So make sure you DM me. So I got to switch this around a little bit. Now, I'm about to blow your guys' minds right now. You ready? Bam! Look at this. Look at this. I'm stepping my game up, you guys. So, we're going to start with Trend Mood 1. She is one of my favorites for new makeup releases. I forgot to add Hot Fire Makeup on here, but these videos were also inspired from Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. If you guys haven't checked out Samantha... I talk about her every time I do these. I used to do these videos every other week, but then, you know, I, I suck at being a YouTuber. If you guys want me to start doing these more frequently, please let me know. I mean, it's just a fun way for us to just chit chat, hang out and talk about basically if we're interested in new makeup or not. And I'm having like a massive snooze fest with all these makeup launches lately. So it's just our time to sit down, chill out, talk about makeup. Because who doesn't love talking about makeup? I see, Z Z is it Zina? Damn, you fancy, love it. I'm just trying to keep you guys entertained. I'm trying to up my game. Oh, I see you guys from Kentucky, yes. <laughs> Sweet Roars, that's fancy, yes, girl. So we're just going to basically talk about new makeup. So the first one up is going to be, let me switch this over so I could actually read these on my Instagram. Okay, so we're gonna have, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, who does not give a fuck about 420 and, and pot smoking? I mean, I work at a job where I, I, I can't do drugs <laughs> anyways, but I've never been into that type of stuff. So these, these types of things don't ever really interest me. So he's going to have his mirrors. They're going to be $30 each. If you've purchased these before, are they heavy? I've always been interested in these mirrors, but these ones are just obviously like pot leaves, you know? I'm not interested in those. We also have, oh, that's more. I see a pig mirror in the back. Jane Dawson's palette is also coming back as well. I don't give a fuck about this stuff. And then you have how high are you? And then hi, how are you? Hoodies, merch. I'm not interested in this shit, but you guys might be. What do you guys think? Do you guys give a fuck? Do you not give a fuck? <laughs> oh, Tanya says, love your channel. <laughs> Brother Fresh Air, recommendations. Thank you so much. Yes, if you haven't shot the Sephora VIP sale yet, I do have my top 10 like spring summer recommendations video on my channel already. You guys have been loving that video. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you guys checked out Michelle Wong too because we did a collab for our videos. I have so many more recommendations that I could give, but those are like my top 10 that I would like purchase right now, you know, but I'm going to have another one tomorrow. So 
<laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> um, Sweet Roar says it might be legal in California and have lots of medical research behind benefits it can provide. But those are not my thing. Same. Like, I know it is legal there. It's illegal. It's it, it's legal in many states, but New York, it's not. Um, I'm just, these types of things don't interest me. Um, that's just my preference. Emily says, I'm not really interested in any 420 stuff, but I like the color schemes that come from it. That's why I pay attention. Yes. I wish that they did those types of things just without, like, pot leaves all over them. <laughs> but I mean, I know that there's people out there that just buy them because of the pot leaf, you know, that's how I found you. Great video. Thank you, Sarah. Did you come over from Michelle's channel? Shona says pass. Definitely. <laughs> Sarah, I'm a big pothead. Yeah. His mirrors are heavy as fuck. Okay. That tells me right there. I will not purchase his mirrors then. Cause I have a heart because I used to pitch softball when I was younger. Ever since then, my shoulder is just shot. So I can't, I can barely hold up a little compact to look at my damn mirror. Okay, so we're all we're all yawning over this one. This is what I used to call my series was yes or yawn. And we're just, we're snoozing over these Jeffree Star mirrors. Okay, let's go to what's next. And again, if you guys want to follow along on Trend Mood 1 on Instagram, you can. That's where I am. I'm going to, these weren't on here, like these, um, this top three. I have a feeling this is Morphe. And yep, so we're skipping right over that because I don't support that brand. Let's talk about these. Um, well, these are available now. These are from Milk Makeup. I hope you guys could see these okay. Um, they're going to have their Kush Triple Brow Pen. I'm intrigued by this. It's $22. They're going to have eight shades. And they're going to have lip glaze shades. And new Kush lip glaze shades. They're going to be $18. So they're going to have Rosebud and Nova. I'm kind of interested in that brow product, though. Like, what do you guys think? Are you interested in that? Oh, Sarah says, check out Brin's Insta. Thanks, Scara. She's always plugging the handles. Thank you so much. Um, I just placed an order on Sorority VIB. Yes, girl. I've placed, I've placed two orders so far. <laughs> oh, I love it. I appreciated a Brit declutter video on my birthday. The silver lining to my Rona-induced non-birthday. Girl, mine's coming up on Monday. And I'm like, it's my dirty 30. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but, I mean, it's just another day. And Shannon's like, well, what do you want? What do you want for your birthday? Because we were supposed to go to Vegas. And now he's like, because we usually don't do like birthday presents. But he's like, it's a big birthday. You know, like, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, oh, we're going on vacation after. Like, we're just not going right now. But we're going to go somewhere. And it, it'll probably be like Disney. Let me just be honest. I freaking love Disney. Uh, let's see. Christina says, I don't care that they're part of the Kush family. They just took, they just <laughs> look pretty. So I want them. Yeah. Like milk is the one brand, like the Kush doesn't, it doesn't rub me the wrong way with them because it's not like it has pot leaves all over it. So now I'm like, okay, I'm into that. Like I would be totally into that. Um, Tanya says, I really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury contour blush wands, but I haven't pulled the trigger. Tanya. <laughs> I am the wrong person to ask if you should get them or not, because I'm going to say yes, buy them because they're amazing. I love those so much. Kara C, I see you, girl. What's up, Kara? Sarah says my 40th is the 28th and they canceled the tr my trip to Hawaii. So I ordered some stuff from Sephora. Well, happy birthday. Oh yeah. I forgot our birthdays are close. I'll be 30. You'll be 40 and we're a day apart. Yes, girl. Everybody say happy birthday to Sarah. Look at that. Lotus Lotus Trolley Bags is going to be sending you a little birthday present too. Love that. Um, Shona said, oh shit, it jumped. Shona says, I'm interested in the brow product. Same. Sarah says, pull the trigger, Tanya. The contour wand is bomb. Shona says, pull the trigger. <laughs> Kara says, the Charlotte Tilbury wands are fire. <laughs> you came to the wrong place if you wanted to be talked out of makeup products. <laughs> uh, oh, I love it. Okay, so... How do we feel about these Kush brow products? I'm into it. I think they're cool looking. Do I think that they're actually going to work though? I don't know. I don't like, I look at these and I'm like, I don't think it's going to be like a forever product. I think it'll be really cool at first, but then it's like, do they like wear down or does like the product disperse through those like little like claw looking things? You know, I have questions. I got questions. So I'm in, I'm curious. I think the price point is decent. What was it? 22 bucks. So it's it's fair. Um, especially they're available now at Sephora. So you have the discount if you're a VIB member. 
<laughs> Shona says, we're all enablers. <laughs> True story. Um, XXXX says, we don't have a Sephora in the Netherlands, but I love window shopping with you. Oh, I love that. We're window shoppers. <laughs> okay, let's move on from milk makeup. Close it out. Let's talk about house laboratories. I wasn't planning on talking about these, but they're on here. So why the fuck not? Okay. House laboratories to me, they need like a rebranding already. Like I would be so much more interested in this brand and I would buy a lot more from this brand if it was a, like a reflection of Lady Gaga. Like when I look at this, I'm like, that's not Lady Gaga's brand. Like Lady Gaga is a brand in herself. And if it reflected her, I would, I would buy it just because it would be like out of this like world. Like it would be so unique and just so different. Like this stuff is just like snooze fest. So they're going to have nine new shades of that L.E. Riot lip glosses for $18. And I'm a glossy bitch, too. And I'm just, like, not interested. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even like, looking at it. And then they're going to have new lip liners for $16. Will be available tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm just, I'm, I'm snoozing. I'm snoozing over here, I think. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me scroll up. Make a enabler. <laughs> Sherry says, I can't stop ordering makeup. I'm addicted. My Sherlyn Tilbury wand should be here this week. Yes, Sherry. I know. Like, I'm to the point now, too. I'm like, I'm so bored that I just want to buy shit. And I'm trying not to. By the way, if you guys haven't shared this video yet, what the fuck are you doing? Share this video. Come on. Tweet it out. Facebook it out. Whatever the hell you guys do. Take a sip of wine, too, while you're at it. Who missed wine in my videos? Oh, my God. I missed wine. Um, Tanya says, where's the best place to buy them? Are you talking about the Charlotte Tilbury ones? I would say right now would be Sephora if you're a VIB member. Um, they're available at Beautylish and then Sephora, uh, Sephora. Oh my God, I just said Sephora. Or Charlotte Tilbury's website. Um, yeah, any one of those is good. If you haven't tried them, I'd probably say Sephora just because if you don't like it, you can return it, which I think you can do that at Beautylish and, and Charlotte Tilbury's website too. Wherever you're going to get the most money off is where I would recommend. But right now, I'd probably say Sephora would probably be the best place. Um, Christina says, I'll be the reasonable enabler. Pay your outstanding bills, then pull the trigger on Charlotte Tilbury. Yes, girl. I mean, who needs to pay bills? <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Don't come for me. I'm totally kidding. All right, let me jump down. <laughs> Brandy, house labs lame. <laughs> Heather, what's up, girl? Heather Austin also has a channel, if you guys haven't checked her out. Um, Lady Gaga should have done a full coverage foundation, serious complexion products. I know, it's like, what is going on with, with Lady Gaga's brand? Like, I don't, it just does not seem like Lady Gaga. Um, Julie, I don't see Lady Gaga in the products. I'll pass it by. Yeah, it's like, what is this? What is this? And then I also forgot to mention, Sarah Smiles loves makeup. She also has a channel. She does like, if you love live stream, like get ready with me. She doesn't do them live, but she records them, but she leaves all the shit in there. Like I love watching her videos. And then also happy birthday, Sarah. <laughs> She's my bitch. Oh my God. Sarah, how long have we been following each other now? So long. I'm sipping my Coke Zero Orange Vanilla. That sounds bomb. Kimberly says, I have a glass of Moscato. Yes, girl. We love that. I hope I don't like trigger people like drinking on camera, but then I'm just like, I love it. I love wine. Um, Tiny says, bills are paid, so I'm about to buy them. Yes, girl. Brandy says, what are bills? <laughs> Live chat reminder. I love when Sarah posts those. Live chat reminder. Okay, so house laboratories, we're snoozing. Let's carry on. Are you guys liking this? Are you liking how I'm like, chit chat a little bit. Let me know if there's any like corrections you want me to make or improvements. This is a learning exp experience for all of us. So this eyeshadow palette, where is this even from? This is the trend mood spotlight. I feel like that means that's a sponsored post. Maybe it, it doesn't matter. Like sponsored posts don't bother me. So this is from makeup scientist cosmetics. It's going to have 12 shades Shimmers, glitters, mattes, and pressed glitter pigments for $45 from Makeup Scientist Cosmetics. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I mean, it's different, which that's cool. <laughs> AM says, happy 420, Canada. <laughs> I don't... I 
I'm not interested. That's really all I could say. Like the color story doesn't bother me. The pressed pressed glitter pigment, that's kind of like, what? <laughs> um, I don't know. Hard pass on that palette. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's, it's on brand, Makeup Scientist Cosmetics. I think they're an indie brand, at least I'm assuming. Yeah, all that wasted space. That's another thing that, that usually turns me off too is like when there's a lot of wasted space on the palette. Um, lots of people drink on camera. And yes, this is a nice setup. Thanks, Sherry. <laughs> Let's see. Tanya says, pass. Everybody's like, um, no, nope. <laughs> the reactions. That's like my favorite thing about doing these lives is everybody's just like, nope, nope, pass. <laughs> and then you get the occasional like, buy it. Like Charlotte Tilbury contour runs. <laughs> 45, get the hell out of here. Pass. <laughs> Oh my God. Are you guys as entertained as I am right now? That's a weird palette. There's a conspiracy theory that Trend Mood sells her posts to brands lately. I feel like that's probably accurate. I think that's what like the hashtags Trend Mood Spotlight probably is, is like sponsored posts maybe. Heather says, cool, but not for me. Uh-oh, conspiracy theory. <laughs> Can't really, nope. <laughs> okay, we're all snoozing over this one. Let's carry on. I just seen it. I'm like, okay, it's like props to them for being like different, but <laughs> then again, hard pass. All right, let's talk about Wet and Wild really quick. I I'm not interested in this because I'm like, what is it? Like it's so much stuff. And Wet and Wild's that brand. They're usually like, they're one of to me like the most consistent brands at the drugstore. So I don't doubt that this isn't good. It's just when I look at this, I see a lot of white, and I just naturally just want to look away. Um, so they're going to have pigment palettes, glosses, highlighters, face and body gems, high shine lipsticks, glitter gels, liquid eyeshadows, multi-sticks, glitter liners, lashes, nail polish. That's too fucking much. Like I, I'm like overwhelmed just looking at it. How do you guys feel about it? I think whenever, am I like the only person that gets turned off by collections? Like it's one thing to have, like, I feel like that's where melt is good like they do a collection but it's not like overwhelming a collection you know it's like it goes together it makes sense like this it's just like they just threw a bunch of products out there and it's like what the hell is this that's how i feel when i look at it i just saw somebody said this looks like makeup for my seven-year-old daughter i definitely agree with that it does look like like a kid's makeup which if you have kids that are into makeup this would definitely be a collection for that especially like Wet n Wild is a good brand. So it's like you're spending money actually on good makeup because you know when you usually buy kids makeup, it's like not the best quality. At least if you're buying this, it's like you're still getting good quality, you know? So I I wouldn't feel as bad like spending my money on it. I was thinking about buying a quad until I found out the palettes are half pressed glitters. I did not know that. See, that's where I'm like, I didn't even care to read about it because there was just so much and I'm like, no, it's way too much. <laughs> Sarah says kid shit. <laughs> oh my God, I love these comments. That looks like my desk after doing a full, <laughs> full face of makeup. Shit everywhere. Yes, definitely agree with that. Sarah says I ordered the retro retrograde palette by Huda, but I'm not really into much of the new eyeshadow palette releases. Yeah, it's like, I feel like that's a lot of people's uh, opinions lately is we're really bored, especially with eyeshadow palettes. Um, Nicole says, I like the pink palette and the highlighter, but I'm obsessed with any <laughs> bright highlighter. Girl, aren't we all obsessed with bright ass highlighters? We love that. Those Wet n Wild palettes have two shades and two pressed glitters. Nope. <laughs> I love this so much right now. Julie says too much. Definitely agree with that. Let's see. Fantasy makers are usually pretty gimmicky from what I've seen. They're usually kind of like summer version of their Halloween makeup lines. Um, Sherry says, only thing I've really liked is their photo finish foundation. I actually just started using their dewy foundation and I'm much more of a fan of that than the original one. But it's one of those I'm just like, I can't make up my mind. Like when I first wore it, I'm like, at first I put it on and I'm like, I fucking hate this. And then it sit on my skin and then I'm like, oh shit, I kind of love this. And then I looked at it later and I'm like, but do I though? It was, it was very weird, like a very weird process. I've never had that like 
process for a foundation before. It was so weird. That looks like a damn mess. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. We're snoozing. Carry on. <laughs> Next. Escape. Okay. Let's talk about Melt Cosmetics because this, this is fucking Gorgina. I feel like Melt is killing it lately. So they're going to have the 420 eyeshadow palette for $58. It's going to have um, a mix of yellows, amber neutrals, and a hint of green inspired by the vivid hues and tones found in Shatter, the most concentrated and powerful version of cannabis. And then they're going to have two ultra matte gel liners. Does it say how much those are individually? A melt pipe for $15, a stash box. Okay, the full collection is going to be 100 bucks. They got t-shirts. I think they got like the, the pot leaves on the nipples. I think that's what the, um, the t-shirts are. Let's see. Let's see. Individual items, May 17th. Oh, so it'll be after the VIB sale. Damn. So I heard, because I was talking to Kerosene about this earlier, uh, the palette, I believe, is sold out online. Is that correct? Because it just launched at 4.20 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So 7.20, the collection launched. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What do we think about the Melt palette? Sweet Roar says, want. Kerosene says, I need this palette. Um, so you are pretty sure it sold out already, but it was just, but it was just the hundred dollar bundle. Oh, so they didn't do it individually. The people at Melt love them some weed for real. Like I love their aesthetic as a brand, but I was just like, this would have been a palette that I would buy a hundred percent if it was fall pot leaves and all. Like I love the color story of it, but I just see Kara. It would have been a fantastic fall release, but get the whole 420 thing. Yes, I absolutely totally agree with that. I'm actually considering getting, I think it's sold out on Sephora right now. You remember how they did the two palettes for the Amour, like a Eternal collection? I initially got just the Muerte palette, but I, I think the, is it the Vita palette? I'm actually considering buying that now because that's a palette that I could see myself using in the springtime. Like I love the aesthetic of this whole thing. It's just, I know that I won't use it right now. And I don't want to just have it in my collection when I have so many other eyeshadow palettes that I am quite frankly not using already. I don't want to add another one. And if it's meant to be, I'll buy it in the fall time if it's still there. Uh, the palette is cute, but I don't want to pay the melt price tag for it. Yeah, their their palettes are very expensive and, and they're very hit or miss. Like, I feel like Alicia from Kinky Sweat, she also has a channel. If you're not following her, I love her. She does such good product reviews. She just did a, a review on the Rust palette. And then she did another video comparing it to the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette. Um, she is just like, this is the best palette that they've done. So it seems to me like their quality is getting better and better and better. But then I was like, oh, wait, the Pink Millennial palette didn't get the best review. So it's like, I don't know, like their metallic formula, I'm not a big fan of. But I mean... I don't know. I'm really into this color story, though. <laughs> Shatter is intense. <laughs> it's sold out in 10 minutes. Christy, unpopular opinion. She hates it. Next. <laughs> oh, the email even says the bundle, not the individual. Oh, not the individual items for now. Oh, I gotcha. Jamie, what's up, girl? Hi, Britt. Sorry I'm late. Got my sangria. Got your sangria. I know I forgot to tweet out the link today. Oops. Can you guys do that for me? Did you guys share this video? Did you like the video? I'll sip to that. Heather says, I'll buy later on, but not right now. Oh, it just jumped. Christy, I'm with you. Sarah says, yeah, I wish they would release a more summery color scheme. I mean, they're on a roll though. Like it might be coming. They're launching palette after palette after palette. I did pick up two lipsticks and an eyeliner that I've been eyeing since they were on sale. I almost got the, like the burgundy liner from them, but then I'm like, I'm not going to wear that right now either because I won't really wear that in the summertime. Like this is probably the look you're going to see like all the fucking time because this is just the vibe that I like for like spring and summer. And then like just bright colors. Like I love that shit. Um, I'm patiently waiting on Lunar Beauty spring release. Manny needs to get the, he needs to get his shit together. Cause I'm so mad. I'm like, 
you need to like let us know what you're launching because I'm getting so impatient, but I'm dying to know. I feel like it's going to be blushes. <sighs> I have a feeling it's going to be blushes, but I'll keep waiting. Jamie says, I want this mount collection, but I don't want the pipe. I'll buy it later in May. I feel like that's probably a lot of people's <laughs> opinions on that one. It's like, I don't need the pipe, but I'll take everything else. <laughs> um, the palettes aren't as good as the stacks. I think in Kiki Sweat's video, she compared it to the stacks and she said with the rust palette, it was actually better than the stack. But I never own the stack, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Sarah says, I love Kiki Sweat. I love me some Kiki Sweat. I love when she's like, oh, hi, friends. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> I fucking love her. Oh, she's everything. Let's see. Katie says, I'm not cool enough for the melt <laughs> I'll be wearing pinks and purples all spring. Yes, girl. Let's see. Their aesthetic is so smart and cool. Like the brand a lot. I, I like if you could wrap me up. I talked about this in my beauty brand tag. If you could wrap me up in a brand, I feel like it would be like Melt Cosmetics. You know, I just love like the edginess, the grunginess, the occasional colorfulness. And it's just like sultry, sexy, like just give it all to me. I love it. And then the owners are fucking gorgeous. Gorgina. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Morphe's garbage. Oh, I want cream blushes for Manny. I want cream blushes for everything from any brand. I'll take cream blushes. Oh, that was in response to, I didn't like the Manny times Morphe palette at all. <sighs> Cause Morphe's trash. I didn't just say that. Okay, next. Next. Uh, what's let's, I'm going to go by like what calls my name right now. Like there's like this, I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to carry on to this one. This is from Essence. This is going to be their summer collection. They're going to have a body oil, a blush, an eyeshadow palette, two matte bronzers and a fan brush. Essence is very inexpensive. So that's cool. I think the leopard print is everything. Love that. Will I actually buy this though? Probably not. Just because, I don't know. I just look at it and I'm like, I could totally see myself buying that that little, is it a bra? I don't even know if it's a bronzer or like an illuminator. I could see myself buying something, but I wouldn't buy like the whole collection. Um... <laughs> Sounds about right. Morphe's garbage. <laughs> what kind of music do I like? I like all sorts of different kinds. Oh my God. I'm like everywhere. Um, I want this so bad. I'm such a loser, but I cannot find it anywhere. This essence line. Is it out yet? Does it say on there? Is it out? Is it out? It says coming soon. So it's probably not out yet. I would assume it'd be available at Ulta just cause they carry essence. Uh, Carol Baskin is buying this. Am I the only person that hasn't watched Tiger King? <laughs> I keep hearing this Carol Baskin shit. And I'm just like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not with the cool kids on this one. I haven't watched it. Um, it's not on their site. It's, I don't think it's out yet. Essence is so hit or miss. Some products are amazing. Others, not so much. I've had that exact same experience. I love half what F Essence puts out. I'm never like, Oh my God, shitting my pants when Essence launches something. I'm like, oh, it's cute. Like, she cute. But will I buy it though? Probably not. Jamie says, pass. Um, Essence is so random. Half is copycat makeup, half original. Yeah, they're just never really interesting. I haven't gotten like the copycat vibe. Like I get Makeup Revolution. That's when I get copycat. Like that turns me off when brands like blatantly copy other brands just because it's like, let's not do the exact same product with the exact same packaging. And it, it's like, there's creative directors that have jobs that do that and de design these products. And for people to just or well, not people, but for brands to just take it and just change the name of it and make it so it's like barely, like you can barely tell the difference. I don't like that. I have zero interest. Me either. Carolyn says, pass. <laughs> Sarah says, watch it. No, I have way better things to do. I remember, who was it? Somebody did like a, 
some sort of story about the whole thing. Was it Prim Inc.? I think he covered something. And I'm like, this is fucking stupid. Um, I just ordered an Essence highlighter. It's my first Essence purchase. I think the only thing I've purchased from Essence is like that pure nude highlighter and then like a mascara. But I keep going to buy like their tubing mascara and I don't know which one it is. I can't figure out which one is the right one. Um, I do like Makeup Revolution though. See, I haven't had good luck with them either. Like I always get it and I'm like, okay, it, you get like that. It's good because it's not expensive. That's like the, the thing that I get from it. And I don't like having that feeling. I want to have that feeling that it's like, no, this is good no matter how much it is. It's not like that. Oh, it's good because it's cheap. I don't judge things based on, I don't judge things performance based on how much they are. At least I try not to. I'm like, no, if it's good, it's good. And then the price is just like an afterthought kind of thing. Like, I don't know. I've probably said it a million times. Like, oh, it's good for being like 10 bucks. But I try, I try not to have that mindset. It's like, no, I, I just feel like anytime I get stuff like that, I'm never blown away by it. I'm just like, oh, it's okay. You know? Um, I'll wait for Bailey to cover the story. Same. Sarah says, I'm just not into drugstore makeup. See, I think the drugstore, like they nail it with like foundations, concealers, and mascara, but that's like it. And I feel like I had this thought today. I don't, I don't know if the Physicians Formula Health Foundation is the same anymore. Because I got, it's the foundation I'm wearing today. And it's like, it doesn't apply the same. Like it, I don't know, maybe I got like an old one or something. It just doesn't feel like it's the same as what I remember it being. So I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, let's carry on from this Essence one. Let's go to, we'll talk more about this Jeffree Star shit. Let's talk specifically about, like, do we, first of all, do we even give a fuck about a green lip gloss now? The mini controversy palette, that's what I wanted to talk about. So they're putting the green shade in it, which <sighs> I don't care about this anymore. I... Like, after the whole series kind of ended, I'm like, this was just, like, a massive publicity stunt. And then it's just... The more that I see, it's, like, I, I feel like a lot of, like, the selling out and stuff, I don't think it's, like, actually real. So I'm really stepping back from Jeffree Star Cosmetics when it comes to that stuff. I don't know. I just... After, like, looking back at the whole series, I'm just, like, it was just, like, a, a big build up to launch a product which master <laughs> master of all what do you call it like trying to sell shit to people it was the perfect way to do it it was never done before are people really gonna wear a green lip gloss i mean i would but i'm not gonna like run out and buy it because it's a jeffree star lip gloss like his lip glosses are are okay i don't really love them i have one of the shades and i'm just like okay it's 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 fine but it's not like knocking my socks off type of thing. <laughs> Other says they changed it. No, please. No. Yeah. They put the, the green shade is going to be sold individually, but they are putting the green shade in the small palette in the small palette. Um, I'm okay with a single, eye, but not in the middle of an existing palette. Yeah. It's yeah. They're fucking geniuses though. Exactly. It's like the master of, <sighs> Master marketing. Jeffree Star is a master marketer. And I'm not even going to hate on him for that because that's the point of business is to make money. I'm just to the point, I'm like, I don't care about this release anymore. So I'm just like, we're done here. Um, The gloss is actually clear on the lips. That was my thought. I thought it would be like a clear, but I'm just like, it's, it's just because like one, I don't care about the 420 release. Two, I'm not like a huge fan of his gloss. Like again, it's nice, but it's not my favorite formula. And I, I hate the fact that I have to dip in so many fucking times to get it to look the way that I want it. Even though like the applicator is so long, I still have to go in multiple times. And I just, I'm not a fan of that. I just, I don't mind going in like two, maybe three times but when I'm going in like five, six times. That's where I'm like, no, not, not happening. Um, it's not really green, is it? 
I'm over the controversy stuff. I bought into it when they released it, but not anymore. Yeah, like I totally watched the whole series, but I'm just like, after it was all done, I'm just like, it didn't, it didn't show us anything. Like it, it didn't show us like the facts. It, the whole series itself, I was like, it, it was just a lot of like hearsay. Like we never saw actual like cold, hard proof. Like this is how many orders we had. We never saw proof that this is what they pay for packaging. Like they just said those things. They never actually like showed proof of that, you know? So that's where I'm like, I don't know. I feel like it, it set it. I feel like the series essentially like painted Jeffree Star in such a positive light and it made every other brand look so shitty. And that's kind of a shitty thing to do, in my opinion. Um, Sarah, I'm buying the green single for show. <laughs> Confessional. I don't own Jeffree Star. I don't own any Jeffree Star products. My favorite thing that Jeffree Star does is his liquid lipsticks. His liquid lipstick formula is really, really good. I do notice though that they dry out really quickly for me. And I don't know why. Um, Car is it Carolyn or Caroline? I don't see myself buying any Jeffree Star products. Yeah, that's that's like a brand. It's like you love it or hate it. I love the, the branding of Jeffree Star. Like I love the aesthetic. I love all that stuff. It's just, I'd rather spend my money elsewhere right now. <laughs> Finally made it. I'll pass on Jeffree Star. What's up, girl? I think it's way overpriced. I think, I think it's fair. I, I'm not like, oh my God, it's so expensive, but I'm not like, oh, it's super affordable. I, like, I'm not mad about the price point for Jeffree Star. Jamie says, I collect Jeffree Star palettes. Unfortunately, I'll probably buy it just to have both versions. <laughs> and that's how they get you. Okay. I, that's what I was curious about was the conspiracy palette or the mini conspiracy palette mini conspiracy palette. Let's talk about these Clinique blushes. I think these are so damn cute. They're going to be new pop blushes. They're going to have four of them. Does it have a price on here? No. Like some of these posts, I'm like, can you tell us a little bit more about them? So I don't know how much these are. I think these look so cute though. Like I'm just, I'm totally into blushes, especially like these shades. I think that purple is so unique and so pretty. I'm just a blush bitch though. Like the top two I would be all over those. I don't know if I'll buy them or not. Probably not because I have like <laughs> so many blushes right now. <laughs> I mean, I might buy one, maybe, but if they're available at Ulta, if not, probably not. Kimberly says, my daughter likes Jeffree Star products, but I find the lip stuff to be drying. Yes. The liquid lipsticks, like I love them, but they are drying. Up, oh, Sarah. Shit, I gotta run. My mother's calling me. I'll be right back. Okay, girl. <laughs> Those are so cute, right? I love like the pressing. I love the shades. I think they're very wearable shades. And I think especially the top two for my skin tone, they're very spring-like. Whereas the bottom two, I think would be so pretty on like fair skin tones. So cute. I love all blush though. This is like the age of the blush for like everybody, I think. It's so funny. Like everybody's like, give me all the cream blushes. <laughs> I fucking love the cheek pop blushes, but I really, really don't need any more of them. Or do I? <laughs> or do you? <laughs> mm, the deep pink. Yes, I think the deep pink is so pretty. And I'm usually not into them. And you could, like, just by the picture, I feel like they look like they have, like, a luminous finish to them. I've never tried these blushes, but I think they're so pretty. Everybody's like, oh, those are cute, though. Um, I, I want cream blushes and cream highlighter. <laughs> Don't we all, girl? Don't we all? Those blushes are beautiful. They're pro they'll be probably $25. Won't get those anytime soon. Not released here in the USA yet. <sighs> we get everything last, god damn it. Danica, what's up, girl? Finishing treadmill and I'll catch you, Brett. <laughs> and I catch Brett. Yes! <laughs> Let's see. Jennifer says, overpriced for what they are. The formula of the new Clinique blushes isn't the same as their trio. See, I've never tried. Clinique's not a brand that I'm usually ever interested in. So I don't know, like these caught my eye just because I'm a blush, I'm a blushy bitch right now. Okay. So they caught my eye because of that. But do I think I'll actually buy them? Probably not. It's hard to separate me from my Charlotte Tilbury wands I use for blush. Girl, I know that struggle <laughs> between that 
and Tower 28. Speaking of Tower 28, let me let me scoot over to their to their website really quick because how how the fuck isn't that on here? Tower 28 is launching a new product, you guys. They teasing us. And they're saying we need a little bit of sunshine. Stay tuned for tomorrow is all I'm saying. I feel like I got the inside scoop. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so excited, though. I love Tower 28. I've always been a fan with them ever since they launched. And I don't know if ever I did this video. When did I even do this video? It was when I had just ordered their stuff on a whim. I got everything that they had launched. I got the settings or the facial spray. I got the blushes, the super do, the lip glosses, everything aside from the facial spray. I need to buy the facial spray again. I talked about that in my, um, my Sephora loves list declutter. I use the setting spray. I use the, the facial spray as a setting spray and it's designed to be as like a toner because I actually DM the brand about it. I'm like, I'm so confused about it because it just says a facial spray. So I just automatically was like, oh, a setting spray. But they had said like, use it as a toner. So I need to buy it again to try it. I've never tried Tower 28, girl. Do not sleep on Tower 28. They're so, so good. Oh, give me everything Tower 28. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this launch. I'll have a video. It'll probably be up tomorrow. I just have to edit it really quick because I'm so excited about it. Have you gotten the Dominique Cosmetics skin glosses yet? Yes, I featured those in my Sephora recommendations video if you haven't watched that yet. But yes, I have gotten them. The formula is... Let me pull it up because I know that's on Trend Mood's thing too. Hold on. Let me let me go back. I know the skin glosses. We'll talk about those since they're they're still a relatively new product. Let me just this is probably gonna make all you guys go nuts right now. Let's try to find it. Let's try to find it. I know she had quite a few posts on here because she's friends with Dominique. Or Christian Dominique. Let me see. Let me see. Where art thou? Where art thou? Where art thou? All this stuff I planned on talking about, but this is sometimes what happens. I should have just went to Dominique Cosmetics Instagram. So these are the skin glosses that I was just asked about. I have all four of them. And they're, I'm trying to find a picture of like all four of them, like open together. Do we have one? I'll give you guys this one. This will be all of them swatched. Those swatches right there are going to be very, very heavy swatches. These are very thick formula. Not like that sounds bad. It's not a bad formula. It's just, it's different. It's not the same as most people are probably familiar with tower 28. It's not the same. Like tower 28 has a very creamy, very like, it's a very workable formula. Whereas these ones are too, but it feels thicker and it feels a little bit heavier on the skin. But this is going to give you more of a highlight. It's like a cream highlight versus like Tower 28. It's going to give you, it's still like a cream product. Like I have the blush on right now, but it gives you, instead of being like luminous, it gives you a wet look to your skin. So it's still like, it's heavy pigment, but it looks more of just like a wet, almost like you're sweating. That's the look that Tower 28 gives. Whereas with these Dominique ones, they're basically just highlighters. Like they're cream highlighters, at least to me. So like I said, this picture right here is going to be a very heavy swatch of these. I still really like them because they have the most beautiful like golden sheen to them. I applied them in, I think I showed it applied in my Sephora recommendations video. I use the, um, I use the like pinkish shade. What the hell shade is it? It's um, sunset glow and the lightest shade. Those were the two that I used in that video. I was expecting the darkest shade to be more of a, of like a bronzer, but it's not. It's like it's it's just like a darker highlighter. So this is like the formula. I even said this in my video. I'm like, as far as for a recommendation, you don't need all of them. It's like pick maybe like one or two shades, and that's all that you need because they all have that golden shift to them or like that golden undertone to them, and they have. It's like they have micro glitters in them, but they're not like. Like when you hear micro glitters, it sounds like you're going to have like glitter all over your face and what you do, like you see it. But when you like when you turn your face, it gives you the most like beaming 
beautiful highlight, but you have to build them. That's like the best thing about these though. It's like, it's a cream highlighter, but it's very buildable. So it's easy to work with and it's very hard to like overdo it. You know, I think these are a beautiful product for spring and summer, especially like I still love them. It's just, it's different. It's just a different type of formula. Whew, I'm like out of breath after that. You gotta refill my sangria BRB. <laughs> oh, let's see. I've never heard of them until you're, I'm assuming that means four recommendations, maybe. <laughs> Jerry, Tower 28, don't sleep on that brand. They have amazing products. My favorite thing about them was that they're, like what really pulled me in was they're a clean beauty brand at Sephora. Like that was how I initially found them, but they formulate their products to be ideal for sensitive skin and basically like all skin types because the owner has eczema prone skin. So they formula everything. Like they're like a true clean beauty brand. They're vegan, they're cruelty free. Like all the good things that you would want in their products that they are. And then their products are fucking amazing. Like I cannot say enough good things about tower 28. I can't even, I can't even, I've talked about them countlessly for a damn good reason. Um, Julie asked, are they cream or a powder? If you're talking about Dominique cosmetics, they're going to be a cream formula. This sounds terrible for textured or more mature skin. I disagree with that. I think they're ideal. It's just, it's just, it's just a different feeling. Like if you don't like, even like the tower 28 ones, like they don't dry down. If you don't like your face to feel wet or like almost like sticky or balmy, these are not the products for you. If you just don't even bother that goes for tower 28 too. Like I could touch my face right now and it's like, I still feel a wetness to my skin. I would say Dominique has more of like a, a sticky feeling, but I don't mind that. Like it does not bother me because of the result that it gives my skin. Like I have textured skin. So I would say I have like a good judgment when it comes to products that are ideal and not ideal for mature skin, just because I have the texture on my skin and they don't emphasize the texture. They're very flattering on the skin. It's just a different type of formula. And some people like that. Some people won't. I would say if I were to choose between the textures, between Tower 28, I would, between Tower 28 and Dominique Cosmetics, I would go for Tower 28 because I think it's more comfortable and it's more lightweight feeling on the skin. Um, They look beautiful. Are they like Fenty putty highlighters? Totally different. Totally, <laughs> totally different formula. <laughs> They're like an actual, hold on. I have one right in front of me right now. Hold on. Hold on. Bam. Look at that. This is going to be the darkest shade. This is copper light. It's, it's like an actual, it's a cream. It's totally a cream, but see how, like, see how dark it looks in the pan and how not dark it is. Like these are just going to be cream highlighters. That's all that they are. They're beautiful. But that's why I said like those swatches on trend moods page, they're very like, they're very heavy swatches. So these are a really buildable formula. Love the packaging on these, like 10 out of 10 on packaging. I love that you could see the product through the backside of it. I ended up getting like the four pack. So I have all four shades. I just have this one out right now. Do I have the other ones out? I don't know where they are, but this is the Dominique Cosmetics ones. If you guys want a dedicated video to these, I was gonna do one. I tweeted it out yesterday. I was gonna do a dedicated video to them just if you guys have questions, ask, and then I can try to answer them in that video. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I'm actually emailing them on peanut allergies now. Tower 28? Oh, so exciting. I need to try Tower 28. Yes, you do, girl. Sephora's having their sale. If you're interested in Tower 28, now is the time. And they're not like, Tower 28's not that expensive either. Like for being a brand at Sephora and a clean brand at Sephora, all of their makeup products are like 20 bucks. So to me, being a brand at Sephora, 20 bucks, that ain't shit. Usually those types of products are like 30 at least. Uh, let's see. Jennifer says, I bought a cream blush and I like it, but I hate how they feel. See, I love it. I love it so much. But that's where everybody's preferences are different. And that's totally fine. Um, not all cream products are sticky. No, not all of them are. Not all of them are like tower 28. These aren't sticky. These are going to be like, they feel like a bomb. The Dominique ones, they have to me like that stickiness, but it's still like a bomb. 
but it's not like an obnoxious sticky, but then it's also like, you're not going to get the same effect either though. If you don't have that stickiness or that like the balm, you're not going to have the same result. The balminess and the stickiness that gives you that wet look to your skin. I have never found a product that gives you an actual like wet sweaty look that's not like balmy or sticky or have some sort of texture to it, you know? Um, do a dedicated cream blush video. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. But like, what do I say besides all of these are gorgina? <laughs> Let's see. Is there color payoff? I got cream blush and it disappears. It depends on the formula. And I, I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Heather says, gotta go. Bye, y'all. Bright, you look gorgeous. Thanks, girl. Oh, Danica's piecing out too. We'll probably stay on for another like eight minutes or so. Yeah, I saw I saw Tower 28's prices are reasonable. I hope they get back to me quickly. They usually DM me super quick on Instagram. The Tower 28 blush is super pigmented. They're very pigmented, but they blend so nicely. So, so nicely. Oh, Danica, thank you much. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Thanks, girl. Um, can you powder it down? Yes, you can. It's just instead of like swiping, you just want to pat over. Like I always like if say if I have a cream blush on and I'm going to set it, I start like back here and then just kind of drag it down. So most of the pigment will go back here because it's not going to it's not going to blend flawlessly. It's like you have to finesse it because it's going to have that stickiness texture to it. But that's where, like, that's my favorite thing about cream blushes is a lot of them could be put on top of powders. So it's like you could set your entire face, and then if you want that glossy look to just your cheeks, you just put a cream blush on top, and then it's like, boom, done. Um, You're like the only YouTuber I even believe anymore. <laughs> there's, like, to me, there's no point in lying about anything, so I appreciate that. <laughs> um... I'm, I don't know what the second word is. The makeup trick that Kate the Great Beauty recommended, double blush. If you ever want to watch the most aesthetically pleasing, hang on, let me, let me take this off. If you ever want the most aesthetically pleasing, like makeup application, Kate the Great Beauty is the best. Oh, my, like I love just watching her put makeup on. I don't know what it is. Like, it's just like the finesse and how she just, how she puts on her makeup is so satisfying to me. I can't even get over it. I'm like, Kate, can you just, <laughs> I can forget. Oh, she actually bought one of these gl skin glosses because I recommended it. And I was like, Kate, can you just like apply it on camera just so I could watch? Because <laughs> I just, I love the way that she applies makeup. I live for it. Um, It's Kate the Grace blush tip. Double blush, then cream blush on. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's move on from these skin glosses. I'm probably going to drive your eyes crazy here for a second while I get back up to where we were. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try to power through these last few. Okay. This one, the, what is it? Glow recipe, the watermelon glow, PHA and BHA pore tight toner. Wow. This one I'm actually interested in because one it's $32 and I feel like that's a fair price. And I'm always intrigued when it comes to pore tightening anything, because my pores in this area, like my T-zone are massive. And I'm always interested in anything like that, whether they actually work or not is a different story. But I just, I saw this and I'm like, I kind of want it. The only thing that I don't like about this watermelon line is it smells like an artificial watermelon. And I don't necessarily love that. So I don't know if I'm going to get it, but I'm interested in it. Do you guys, do you guys like buy into this shit? Like I'm a big skincare person because it's done wonders for my face, but I don't know if I'll buy this, but I've had good luck with like the glow recipe pineapple. Was it the pineapple C brightening serum? I love that product. I haven't purchased it yet, yet during the VAB sale, but I seen this and I'm like, Oh, I kind of want it. But then I'm like, is anything going to tighten the pores? Probably I, like from what I've like read and heard, it's like, your pores never actually shrink. It's like genetics. It's all sorts of things. So I'm like, do I really think this is going to work? Probably not. Um, hold on. Maybelline cheek heat. Don't wait. 
I, is that don't waste your money? <laughs> Zina says, I'm tempted, but I just bought the Ula Henriksen toner green bottle. I used to hear Desi Perkins talk about that one all the time. I just got a mini size of the dark spot toner. The watermelon moisturizer and serum mask don't do much. I did not like the other watermelon products. Like they're not moisturizing on my skin at all. I'm like, I do not understand the hype of them. And then you have Zena, I swear by the watermelon mask. See, I do. I was like, these do not touch my touch of water cream. <laughs> not even fucking close. But I do really enjoy the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I really do like this, but I'm flying through it. Like, I feel like I have to apply so much of this, and I actually have it on my face today. I feel like I have to apply so much because it's like you can't feel it on your face, which is a good thing because it's so fine and it smells nice. I don't necessarily love the artificial watermelon smell. It almost smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. I don't mind the smell of it, but... Would I purchase that at full price? Probably not. Um, I have the Glow Recipe Sleep Mask and Face Spray, and they're okay, but the fragrance is probably bad for the skin. Yeah, that's one thing that anything that's fragrance like that in skincare, I'm just like, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> I've tried a lot of AHA and BHAs at the pharmacy. Honeymoon Glow is where it's at. Yes, bitch, that is such an amazing product for textured skin. If you have textured skin, that pharmacy, I'm going to put it on the screen. That pharmacy serum is the fucking best. Like if you ever heard, like, I feel like that's what I said this in my recommendations video or yeah, this is what the, like the what's in my cart section. I feel like that pharmacy honeymoon glow is what everybody loved about the Sunday Riley good jeans. I feel like that was such a bomb ass product. I love it. I'm so glad that you said that. Sadly, as you age and lose collagen, your pores will show more. Ah! <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I need two more years. <laughs> mm. True that, Britt. Nothing compares to Tatcha water cream for real. It's so good. I debated buying the water, like the, or no, not the water cream, the dewy skin cream. Dewy skin cream. But I debated buying the water cream just because they had that big size of it. I'm like, why couldn't Tatcha put a dewy skin cream in a big ass tub like that? Because I need another one. Good Molecules Toner and Tatcha has done wonders. Which Good Molecules Toner? Are you talking about, is it the Neosinamide or Neosinamide, whatever the hell it's called. Are you talking about that one? I just started using that one again. I agree on that, Britt. I have to spray it so much. Yes. Let's see. Honeymoon Glow. <laughs> and follow up with Good Molecules. Pineapple Power Scrub in the morning. Oh, my God. Holy Grail Combo. Pharmacy, Honeymoon Glow, and then Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream on top for moisture. I haven't tried the Magic Cream yet. Oh, my God. I need to try it. Speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, let's talk about Charlotte. Let's talk about the new Magic Cream line. What do we think about this? Because there's been a lot of feedback on this. They have the Magic Serum, which is like $80, uh, the Magic Lip Oil, and then the Magic Cream Light. So it's going to be a lightweight moisturizer. The magic serum is available now. What do you guys think about this though? Jennifer says, I want to try the pharmacy cherry eye cream. I just heard Kate Gray talk about that and I want to try it now too, but I'm still going through my eye cream. Getting on that pharmacy serum ASAP. Girl, that's good. It's good. I got it in BoxyCharm and I fucking loved it. I loved it. The dewy skin cream is best for people with dry skin. I won't use anything else. It's seriously the best for dry skin. Oh my God. And then just the scent of Tatcha products. It gets me every damn time. Just the scent. The scent makes it just, because uh, it's it's like so spa-like. It's so like relaxing. Oh my, I could rave so much about the Tatcha dewy, like Tatcha in general, but the Tatcha dewy skin cream. Oh my God. Oh my God. When, oh wait, when my check, oh, when my check, I think this is, I think that is when my check comes, I am buying Charlotte Dover. <laughs> Whole credit card, Batman. <laughs> Let's see, too much, nope, too much and too much fragrance, I'm sure. I just bought a full-size Charlotte Tilbury Magic Night Cream, so my skincare bu budget is empty right now. That serum will have to wait. 
See, I've heard like everybody's like, nope, I'm not buying. Like people are like going off about the serum, and I'm like, I'm kind of interested. <laughs> like I kind of want to get it just to see like if it's good. Um, Zena says, read a review and it listed too much fragrance and water, so I don't think I will get it. See, that's where like I said the same thing, but that's where. I'm not usually like an ingredient person. I just get something, I try it. And if it works, it works. And I'm like, I don't know. So I don't want to judge something just off of like what the ingredients looks, the ingredients list looks like. Cause in my mind, it's like all the ingredients like work together. I don't know. I'm such a Charlotte Tilbury bitch. So, so I'm like, I just want to try it because I love all of her products. And I know like I love her makeup products. And I've heard like a lot of people love her makeup and not the skincare. Oh, I don't know. I, I like debate buying it, but I don't know. I don't know. The serums ingredients that you want, they claim that they claim are way low on the, oh, on the ingredients list. And they toss different crystals for magic. <laughs> You're reading mystical healing. <laughs> oh, if you are into mystical healing. Oh, love my, oh my God. These comments are jumping. I do want to try La Mer cream. I've heard such good things about that too. Someone's page, <laughs> Jen loves reviews, so we know what's good or not. <laughs> I don't know. Like that's where I'm just like, a part of me is like, okay, maybe look at the ingredients, but then I'm also like, but at the end of the day, like I could try it and still fucking love it. So I don't know. I've never been an ingredients person like for that specific reason. Cause if I read through probably like all the ingredients of products that I love, I'm sure they're going to have shit in them that I'm just like, or like water is the first ingredient, you know, but it's, it still doesn't change the fact that I fucking love those products, you know? Um, I want to try the light facial moisturizer. I think the normal magic cream will be too heavy for my oily skin. Let's see. I'm buying the Charlotte Tilbury serum, just waiting for it. On the coming to Sephora. I didn't know if it was or not, but I assumed it would. I want to see if it works. Wish they had a mini. I wish Sephora was open for samples, right? Um, I'm not a huge fan of makeup lines that delve into skincare. She's always, hasn't she always been like makeup and skincare though? I don't know. I just, I've had such good luck with her brand. And I think that's why I'm just like, I'm still interested in it. But do I think I'll buy it right now? Probably not. Let's see. Skincare should be judged by ingredients. I agree. It should be. But again, it's still like, I've never been an ingredients bitch. So that's where I'm just like, I don't ever look at ingredients lists. And I wouldn't want to judge something on the ingredients list and then not try it and then be missing out. <laughs> Jen loves has her Facebook page where you can leave questions. Um, I hope I hope it will come to Sephora makeup infused skincare. No idea, but I just met in general. Okay, so we're kind of I don't know. I'm still really interested in this. Um, do I know if I'll get it or not? Though not really sure. I probably won't right now just because of I mean VIB sale. <laughs> Let's talk about some hourglass. I think I'm going to end on this one. I was going to talk about more stuff, but we've been here for kind of a long time. So Hourglass is going to have their eye primer, which is available now. And then they're also going to have, I think it's further down. Hold on. Let's scroll. Let's scroll. Let's scroll. Let's scroll. Oh shit. I got to talk about one more. Or no, it's not. I'm like, what's in my thumbnail? Cause I want to make sure I talked about everything in there. Cause I don't really want to redo it again. <laughs> um, they're also going to have a soft focus setting spray. This is also available on the Hourglass website. What do we think, you guys? What do we think about the Hourglass? I'm here, I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm totally here for it. I am an Hourglass bitch. I love Hourglass products. I think it's very expensive. But Hourglass always nails it for me. They always nail it with their products. I think the only thing that I've tried that I didn't love was the Vanish Foundation. I don't know. I I'm totally into this though. I was really excited about it when I first like when I first seen it. I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely want to get it. I hope that it comes to Sephora, just because I mean I want to get the discount. I keep checking like every single day to see if it's going to be available. 
Um, I feel like brands excel in one or the other. I hate that my favorite skincare is not cruelty free, so I can't look. At, so I can't look at the dog when I use it. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious! I'm so tempted to buy Hourglass on the Sephora sale. I shouldn't, but Sherry, if you shouldn't, then don't. Don't do it. It's only makeup. You don't need it. Don't do it. Let's see, Christina, the only primer I'm willing to splurge on is the BB Face Base. Oh, Bobby Brown. Let's see. I think the Hourglass Veil stuff is just okay. I haven't tried the Hourglass, um, the Veil Primer. I don't know if I'm more interested in the setting spray from Hourglass versus the, um, the Eye Base. And I'm also loving the Gerard Cosmetics Eye Base so much. So I'm like, okay, I'll probably just by the setting spray. Uh, let's see. Sarah says, gotta go. Really enjoyed my first live stream. Looking forward to <laughs> binging your video soon. Well, thanks for joining, girlfriend. Let's see. Carolyn says, I'm intrigued. Jamie says, I bought the primer and setting spray. It shipped today. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Well, you'll have to let me know, girl. Zena says, I'm an hourglass snob, so I may buy it. I am in the same bow. I'm such an hourglass bitch. I fucking love their products. Oh, there was two products in my thumbnail. Three. Fuck. Okay, we got to go through these. So the next one is going to be another skincare. Let me find it. Let me find it. There's three more products I wanted to cover. Next one will be the Fresh Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. It's going to be $59. What do we think about this? Has anybody gotten this? Has anybody tried it yet? Because I really like this brand. I really love the fresh line, but I wish that they had a, a, like a small size, like a travel size. That's what I'm waiting for because this is going to be a full size. I think this sounds so nice, but I'm like, I don't want to buy a full size of it though. I want to buy like a small one or I hope like Sephora has like a sample of it. Ugh. I don't know, just the name of it. I love the like the rose line. It smells like fresh cut roses. Like I love the fresh line because it actually smells like fresh things. Like I have the, I'm finishing up the soy, what is it? The soy cleanser, the facial cleanser. It smells just like fresh cut cucumbers. Like it smells so good. I love that shit. Um, everything Hourglass has worked for me. I've been a chronic mineral veil primer since it first came out. Unpopular opinion, Fresh's Rose line isn't their best line. See, I I love like the scent of their stuff, but I feel the same way. Like it's not the best. Like I feel like they're good, but I almost feel like it's not worth the price. I don't, is that what I want to say? I, I don't know. It is. If you're sensitive to fragrance, you won't like the Fresh line, I don't think. Um... Jennifer says, I don't care for the rose scent. I really like it, but that's where I'm like, I just want to, I want to have a mini size. That's all I want. If it was, if it came in the big size and the mini, I would have hundred percent bought the mini size. Um, I tend to see more results with their black tea line, especially the kombucha essence. My mother loves their eye cream. I actually just bought her one during the VIB sale. Um, I haven't, I haven't tried it, but I have tried it was like the rose toner with like the rose petals in it. Like so aesthetically pleasing. I love that product, but I never repurchased it. Cause I'm just like, it was nice, but it was like, it didn't, it wasn't like a game changer product. Like it didn't give me groundbreaking results. That's kind of how I feel about the fresh line for at least I've tried like two products from them, but it, it always seems like, okay, it's really nice, but does it really do anything to justify how much it costs type of thing? So I don't know if I'll end up getting that one. Oh, well, oh, this one. I wish Kerosy was still here because we keep lusting over this goddamn Dolce and Gabbana. Dolce and Gabbana. Oh my God. This, this packaging fucked me right up. I can't even deal. I didn't even know that they did makeup. Have they always done makeup? But then watch, just watch. Right there. That, that's all I need to say. Look how gorgina. Just look at it. Just look at let me let me take a sip and admire for a minute. I will absolutely be buying this. 
Like, no question. It's probably going to be like $90, and I don't care because I think it's so fucking stunning. I think this is going to be, I think there was swatch. Was there swatches on this one? I seen swatches somewhere. And it looks like it's going to be just like a luminous blush. The little, like, the liquid illuminator, I'm like, okay, I don't care. But it's the blush. The blush looks so freaking, like, look at the packaging. The, pa the packaging is everything. Like, tell me that doesn't scream spring. This is going to be launching in May. I don't think that there's prices posted anywhere. What do you guys think? What do you think? Have you seen them do makeup before? I've never seen them. I'm losing my shit over that packaging. Dear God, I want it. <laughs> Paige, I need this in my life. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I just thought, Damn, I couldn't use it. I just look. <laughs> it's like a piece of art. Exactly. I seen this. Me and Kara, Kara C have been lusting over this. Like, this is the only thing I feel like we talk about is this goddamn <laughs> compact. Kinky sweat. Wait. <laughs> Hi, friend. <laughs> we were talking about you earlier. See, I can't lift my leg like you, girl. I need to take your stretching classes. I just want to stop in to say hi. I have to head into the shower. Love that Dolce. Girl, we were talking about you earlier. If you guys are not following Kiki Sweat, she does the best product reviews like of all time. Such good reviews, makeup brush reviews. She's queen. Oh my God. I love when she's like, that's enough. <laughs> oh my God. Kiki Sweat, thanks for popping in, girl. Oh my God. I love it. But yes, this compact though, fuck me up. That's all I got. It's so beautiful. Don't know how much it's going to be. Don't want to know. I'm just going to buy it no matter what because it's it's Gorgina. I fucking love it. So that was the next one. What was the last one? Shit. Oh, this one right here. The Viseart. What is this called? What is this called? Hold on. I got to find the name of it. You guys are probably all screaming the name of it. Inspired from the legendary Spritz cocktail. What the fuck is the name of this damn thing? Oh, the Spritz edit. <laughs> So this is the new eyeshadow palette from Viseart. I love this color story so much. I think it's so beautiful, but will I buy it right now though? <laughs> I don't think so. Just because I have so many goddamn eyeshadow palettes, but I don't know. Cause how much is this thing? Hold on. How much are you? It's $39. So that's fair. That's fair. I have never tried Viseart palettes before. I really like this color story. I could see myself buying this one. I could see myself buying it because it's it's neutral. It's got the corals in there. It's very springtime. I'm totally into that. <laughs> Jamie, this Brits at it. <laughs> I told you you're probably yelling at me. I'm totally into this. Mmm. Michelle Wong's got me wanting that shoe shoe palette too, the one with the pinks in it. I really want this one, but I have the Too Faced Peachy Mattes, and I know I can get a similar look using that and like a champagne highlighter for a shimmer. Unpopular opinion time. I didn't like the Peachy Mattes palette. I think you could probably get something similar with the Peachy Mattes, but definitely not the same because this has more like metallics and shimmers in there. Like peachy mattes is just mattes, you know? The metallic always me. Again, I've never tried Viseart before. I don't know. I could totally see myself getting this one, but it's going to depend on how much I spend by the end of the VIB sale, I think. Because <laughs> realistically, I do not need any more goddamn palettes. I have so many. Oh my God. Sandy's telling me I should try them. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Alicia. Isn't she the best? I fucking love her. I just found her like a couple months ago and I'm like obsessed with her now. Um, seen it done over and over. Yeah, there's definitely nothing unique about this palette. I mean, how many times have we seen like a neutral coral palette? So many damn times. I'm just intrigued because I like that these are like smaller palettes, like very travel friendly. Not that I travel all the time anyways. But it's just, I like the idea of having a smaller palette. I hear a lot of great things about Viseart as well. 
Um, do you have the Mulan palette from ColourPop? No, like ColourPop, listen, I never have amazing luck with ColourPop palettes. I have very few, but the Mulan palette, I'm kind of surprised that I didn't buy because I loved like that color story reflected Mulan. You know, like I felt like they nailed it with it. I'm not exactly sure why like I didn't buy it though. Is it like maybe I just didn't know? That it launched or something? I don't know. I'm like, I'm like shook at myself that I didn't buy it. Um, Jimmy said it's in my beauty list cart waiting for me. Oh my god, Brett, help me. <laughs> Girl, we've been through this already. I am not the person to talk you out of buying me. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is so fun. I just got the Paris edit and I'm loving it. I have too many palettes with the same color story as Spritz edit. I would really have to like look at my collection. And be like, okay, do I already have it? I'm sure I already have it. But it's like, do I have it all in one palette though? Like that's my thing is I hate reaching for like multiple palettes for one look, you know? I don't think I have a palette that looks exactly like this, but <laughs> maybe I do. I really need it. Oh my God. I, I'm like dreading my declutter for my eyeshadow palettes. I just did my... My nude lipsticks, if you guys haven't been following along, I've been decluttering my whole makeup collection. And then after I'm done, I'm going to have like an updated collection, like my entire makeup collection in one video. Ugh, but eyeshadow palettes, eyeshadow palettes will be last and I'm dreading it because I have so damn many and I know I'm going to be so nitpicky about what I get rid of. <laughs> oh man. So that'll be coming if you guys are into declutter videos. Sandy says, Viziart makes amazing eyeshadows. Carolyn says, I want to try the brand, but waiting for a color story I don't have. Viziart had amazing quality. I can't tell you no. I want that one. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Venetian tile. I, I like low-key love like the roses around this picture too. I think it's so pretty. Viziart has awesome quality. I really, I need to try them. Maybe I'll start with like a shushu one maybe i'll start with that one because i love how that has like the hot pink in it i don't know this one's pretty too though i don't we'll see we'll see we'll see what i end up buying <laughs> love the core love the color story but it's out of stock at the moment i think it's still available on is it muse beauty i think it's on i think it's for sale there now too i've never had good luck with color pop either they pull different colors on me than they look in the pan Alex is born. Thank you so much for the super chat. Buy all the stuff unless you can. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat, Alex. You guys are the bomb. Um, yeah, ColourPop, I'm just like, I'm just surprised at the hype that they get. Like, I get it. They're good. It's, it's another one of those, like, it's good for its price type of thing. Like, I'm never, like, shitting my pants over anything that I get from ColourPop. Aside from maybe their gel liners, like, their... They're like eyeliners, you know, but the ones that were so good, they don't even have like they're, they used to have like the best pastel range and now they don't have a lot of their pastels. I'm like, what the fuck? That was like your best product. What the hell? What? Why would you get rid of something like that? What the, oh, I was so mad. So mad. Everybody say hi to Alex. Alex's board is Teresa is dead. Teresa is dead. It's her hubby. He's very much a friend to this channel. Laura says, I bought a mini Viziart palette and, it wasn't, and wasn't really impressed. And don't reach for it. Oh, God damn it. I think I have good luck with ColourPop because most of my priority stuff has been CoverGirl or something. I don't know the luxury stuff well enough yet. See, I totally see where you're coming from, Sherry, because I used to be that exact same way. It's basically like don't ever go to like the expensive stuff because it's you know I'm a lot more judgy when it comes to products now but I think I'm a lot more like like I spoiled myself I spoiled myself I found amazing products that were actually worth that luxury high-end price tag and now it's like I compare everything to those you know what I mean so it's I, everybody has different preferences and that's why I'm so inclined to buy luxury stuff because I have better luck buying like high end and luxury than I do buying stuff at the drugstore. Like drugstore stuff, I'm always like, okay, it's good. It works.
But is it making me shit my pants over it? No, it doesn't. It's it's very rare when drugstore blows me away like that. If anything, like mascaras at the drugstore. That's where I'm like, if you're going to buy anything at the drugstore, buy a mascara because I feel like the drugstore nails it. It's with like, even with, I think foundations, they nail it too. Concealers, they, they do it pretty well, but eyeshadow palettes, don't even fucking waste your money. Like I always tell people, I'm like, go high end when it comes to eyeshadow palettes because the amount of money you're going to spend trying to find a good eyeshadow palette. And it's, it's when you find that first product, you're like, oh, okay. Like this is a really good product. It's, it's the products that are effortless. That's where you're going to be like, okay, I get it now. I get it. Why they charge more for these products. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody's like, Teresa, where's Teresa? It's Teresa. <laughs> Teresa's the shit. <laughs> Alex, tell Teresa we said hi. <laughs> We freaking love Teresa. I wish I had my garbage person shirt on. Oh my gosh. Um, Sandy's asking what drugstore mascaras are good. I really like the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. That's one of my favorites. Um, that was always like my go-to. Maybelline Lash Sensational. Oh my god, I could go on and on and on. Those are like my top two. Um, what was the other one? L'Oreal Telescopic. Oh my god, so many good ones at at the drugstore for mascaras. Oh, I think Shannon's home because now Ozzy's going nuts. I want more luxury, but afraid I won't like the formula. Girl, then buy it and return it. Like, buy it, try it, and return it. I tell everybody that, like, don't feel bad about returning to these big-ass corporations because you shouldn't feel bad. You should not feel bad, especially with the way that they do sponsorships now. Like, that's why it doesn't, like, piss me off when people do sponsorships because that's, like, a brand's way to sell you products and... If you buy it and don't like it, like everybody's preferences are different. There's nothing wrong with it. Don't ever feel bad returning stuff if you don't like it, especially luxury products, especially high-end stuff. Shit, even drugstore products. I'll I'll freaking take a bag. I don't care. Um, Essence, Essence, Essence Lash Princess with the blue-green font. I keep trying to buy this freaking Essence mascara. The tubing. Which one tubing? Because that's what I want to try. Ozzy could not be more annoying right now. <laughs> Let's see. Will you do a favorite eyeshadow palette video? I did. I usually do it by like season. I started doing that like my top 10. What was the last one I did? Like ranking my newest palettes. Did Have I done a... I don't know if I've done like a top 10 yet or not. If not, you're about to see an eyeshadow palette declutter. And I'm going to tell you which ones I love and hate in that one for sure. Um, Carolyn says I live in Hawaii. I have to have it shipped pain in the ass. Oh my gosh. Oh, but I think that's going to be it for tonight's video. You guys, I went through everything I wanted to Shannon's home now. So I'm going to go and lay down, probably edit a little bit more. And I think that's going to be it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did like it, thumbs it up before you guys leave, share it out, all that fun stuff. Uh, when will I be back? I should have a video if I can get it done in time. I should have a video up tomorrow and you're not going to want to miss it because it's beautiful. I have like this, that pimple right there. I was like, what's on my face? And it's a big ass pimple right here. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And if it's not tomorrow, which it should be, it'll be up the day after, but you're not going to want to miss it. If you're wanting to know like what's on my face right now, other than that, like I said, if you like this video, thumbs it up before you guys leave. Subscribe, turn on your notifications and all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.